If you are seeking a better work-life balance and not finding it, yeah, you're not alone. It seems that the trends for remote work options and increased vacation, well, it's not really improving life for a lot of people. So here's how it's playing out by the numbers. Starting with 57% of Americans took a vacation in the last year. That's actually the highest rate since 2009. And while that sounds like good news for this work-life balance, 60% of professionals are working more on their vacation. Yeah, 37% report logging on multiple times a day, and that's up from 19% just a year ago. Also, 63% of Americans are taking shorter than usual vacations because they feel like they have too much work to do. This is according to a consulting firm, Corn Ferry, and 150% more time is being spent in meetings. This is according to a Microsoft accounting of its office software and app usage. So office team chat messages are up 45% and each person is sending 42% more chats. Wow, after hours, so when you're done working, you're still doing it. 40.6 billion more emails were sent in Microsoft's Outlook system in 2021 than the year before. And 62% of this barrage of communications is unstructured and unplanned. Yet, a five minute or less average response time is unchanged. Certainly an indicator of workers doing more, doing it faster, feels like it never ends. For many touted flexible work options might be feeling a little bit more like, you know, work from everywhere all the time requirements. We can relate. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.